Welcome or welcome back Tech Jacks. I'm Zexon and today we'll be performing a dock replacement for my Nintendo Switch. Now you may be asking yourself, what's a dock replacement and why would anyone do it? Here are a few reasons. There may be functional reasons to do it. In my case, my Switch was freezing during long 4 player Mario Kart sessions. The stock case is not a great dissipator of heat. Keep in mind the Switch's GPU's clock can go beyond the 384 MHz of the handheld mode to 768 MHz when docked. This boosted mode generates additional heat. Swapping out the stock case will help dissipate the excess heat and, fingers crossed, eliminate the freezing. For the record, my Switch has only ever frozen during 4-player Mario Kart. Solo and 2-player games while docked have been fine. Another reason to consider swapping your case could be for easier access to all the docked ports. The final functional reason I'll offer is for multiplayer gaming where you're sharing the Switch's screen with another player but don't want to rely on battery power. This dock works well since it does not obscure the screen. There can also be cosmetic reasons one might consider it. Some might do it to achieve a particular design aesthetic. I can see this working well in a minimalist gaming setup. Another consideration is portability. Let's face it, the stock dock's case is bulky and not the easiest thing to lug around. This thing can fit in your pocket or chuck it in your bag and off you go. If none of these reasons resonate with you, stick with the stock docks case. But if they do, or you're curious to see how it's done, then stick around. I'll be using the Mion Nintendo Switch dock replacement case, but there are quite a few other options out there for you to consider if this particular design does not appeal to you. I'll drop a few alternatives for your consideration in the description below. Let's quickly recap by going over the pros and cons. This uses the original electronic components of your Switch's dock without modification and therefore should be fully compatible with your Switch. Heat dissipation should improve. It's compact with a minimal design aesthetic. It's very portable and the process is reversible. Finally, as of the time of this video, if you live in the United States or Canada, this process should not void your warranty. For details on Nintendo's updated warranty policy, check out the link in the description below. Conversely, if you live outside the US or Canada, then depending on where you live, you may void your warranty. Here in the United States or Canada, you're safe as long as you don't damage it. This segues to my final con. If you're not careful, there's always a chance you may damage either the electronic components or your dock. With the tri-point screwdriver, remove these 8 screws from the rear of your dock. Lift the panel up and away. With the Phillips head screwdriver, remove these 5 screws. Lift the locking flap. Very gently pull back these clips to release the board. Lift the board toward you to create slack. Pull the bottom of the ribbon up to release it. Carefully flip the board around. Remove the display LED connector. With the Phillips screwdriver, remove these four screws. Slowly pry the two halves apart, but only slightly. Unthread the LED connector and the ribbon cable. With the Phillips screwdriver, remove these four screws and the docking connector. Remove the protective sheath and set aside. With a Phillips screwdriver, remove these two tiny screws. Lift the locking flap and disconnect the ribbon cable. To complete this project, you'll repurpose these parts. Start with the top half of the replacement case. Slot the board in like so. Insert screws as shown, ignoring the slots indicated. Insert the ribbon cable at an angle and then down. Close the locking flap. Insert the other end of the ribbon to the docking connector and close the locking flap. Slot the protective sheath over the docking connector. Yeah, I missed the third screw. 
thread the docking connector through the case. Using the smaller screws, insert the screws as shown. Remember, do not place screws here. Gently fold the ribbon and close the case with the bottom half. Insert screws as shown. Place the rubber feet over the screw holes. That wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, found it informative, or at the very least entertaining, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Please share your content ideas down in the comments or on my socials, where I often preview new projects I'm working on. You can find links in the description. Finally, if you're interested in getting a replacement case for your Nintendo Switch dock, I've linked a few options, including this one, down in the description. Until next time, stay curious, keep tinkering, and be awesome to each other. Los vemos.